Greetings friends and welcome to today's dose of inspiration. If you have been joining along this week, we are talking about prayer. And today we're going to go ahead and jump right on into the Lord's Prayer and break it down section by section to kind of help us understand a little bit better the pattern we should have when we pray. You will remember that we have already talked about prayer is simply communication with God. It is spending time with Him, sharing our heart, and listening for Him to share His heart. And when we do that, there are some specific things that we should mention in our time with God. That was taught to us by Jesus Himself. Going back to the Lord's Prayer, we can see in the first little section that Jesus told the disciples to start off in this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, I think that what Jesus was trying to tell us by sharing those few words with us is that when we enter into a time of fellowship and communication with God, it is very important to start off with some praise and some worship of who He is to acknowledge His importance to us, and to simply lay out our affections on Him. You know, I like to think of it in human terms and in relating to other people who are special in our lives because sometimes that can help us to understand better the communication style that we can have with God because God's not about pretense and He's not about all of us sharing with Him the exact same way, the same tone of voice and chanting a prayer that is simply memorized. <laughs> no, God wants us to add our own personalities into it and to simply talk to Him and fellowship with Him as though He were a friend because that's what He longs to be. One of the things that I think about is the way that I communicate with my husband or my children. And sometimes I know in our humanness we fail in these areas and maybe we don't always start out with the praise aspect when we're in deep communication. But think about it for a minute. Isn't it much nicer to talk to someone when they start off by being kind and loving and reminding you of how special you are to them? of really taking an interest in who you are as a person and kind of building you up a little bit, those are the kind of people that we usually like to sit down and have great conversation with because there is a positive tone that is there. There is the realization that these people realize who we are to them in their lives and just how important we are to them. I think that's the same way it is with God. When we start off our communications with Him, it's important to start off just a few minutes to remind God just how much we think of Him and just how important He is in our everyday lives. To remind Him of the things that we're thankful for and that we love about Him. Because this helps us to refocus our energies on the positive aspects of the Father. And it also helps us to remember the things about His nature that enable us to really trust Him. One thing that I've learned is that when I run to God in the middle of a crisis or a problem, if I just start off by talking about the problem and just stay focused and camped right there, it can be a little bit harder to really trust Him in the midst of that trial. Because I'm so focused on the negative not focused enough on Him and His ability that it's almost hard to activate my faith. And I think that's what Jesus was telling us. That listen, when you come in to spend some time with God, start off by reminiscing about the good characteristics and qualities, the good traits of God. Talk about them out loud. Remind Him of them because in doing so, it reminds you of His goodness and enables you to activate a faith that you will need later on as you approach Him with your needs. So my friends, I want to challenge you this week. Take note of your prayers. Have you been starting off in an atmosphere of worship and reverence towards God? Have you remembered His goodness and the great things about Him that enable you to trust Him? If not, that may be why you're having just a little bit hard time 
kickstarting this thing called prayer. Want to encourage you to focus on the aspects of God's nature and His character that we praise Him and worship Him for. In doing that, I can guarantee you, your faith is going to increase and your trust in Him will elevate to the next level. I want to thank you so very much for tuning in today. Until next time, I pray that you will walk in the favor and the blessings of the Lord. See you soon.